Now looking at plant temperature, certain plants are going to have different preferences for different temperatures. Uh, but for the most part, most plants like consistent uh, conditions within a range. Uh, typically plants can be, if they're too cold, will slow down their metabolic rate. And plants have that ideal temperature, but even it can get too hot for plants that even live in tropical environments. So hotter is better to a point, and I stress this because photosynthesis is most efficient at about 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 30 degrees Celsius, under normal carbon dioxide levels. So this should be the maximum temperature obtained under normal growing conditions. So here we have net photosynthesis, here we have temperature, and we could see it increases to a point, but then as the temperature increases, the actual net photosynthesis will decrease. Uh, so it's important to try to stay as close to this range as possible to maximize the plant efficiency. The reason I say at normal CO2 levels, let me move myself up here, uh, is that when, you, when a growth space is enriched with CO2, the theoretical maximum temperature increases by as much as 10 degrees Fahrenheit to almost 95 degrees Fahrenheit, or from 28 degrees Celsius to about that 35 or so degrees Celsius. This is because um, of plants able to kind of take in that carbon more effectively, able to not open their stomata as much. There's a variety of factors. But under increased CO2 levels, the plants typically can handle and prefer warmer temperatures. And you'll see a net rise in photosynthetic rate. But even then, after a certain point, there will be a reduction in the net photosynthesis, even in enriched carbon dioxide environments. So the minimum temperature target, uh, always keep your plants above 50 degrees Fahrenheit to help avoid stunting. Below 55 degrees, plant metabolism slows down dramatically. If plants experience 32 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, they will freeze uh, and burn, causing them to die. Even if we get to 35, that's really going to potentially do some damage, and definitely 32 and below will basically kill uh, the plants there. So keep in mind, all plants have their kind of optimum range uh, that they want to be at. Um, so again, for cannabis, we're typically looking at that, you know, maintaining right around that 75-ish degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature consistency is another great thing. The goal is to maintain the temperature in a growth space within a close range. Fluctuations can lead to stress and reduced growth. So it's because the midday temperature is just fine. You want to make sure it's fairly consistent through the entire day. Kind of like the metronome here, that consistency, that kind of back and forth, kind of regulating that nighttime temp to that daytime temp. We can see the extreme conditions here where it's nice, warm in the greenhouse, and there is snow outside. So that's why it's important to maintain those consistent conditions to keep growth uh, as efficient as possible, both day, night, and through the entire grow season.